Oh my god, I'm on the internet. I'm so scared. Do I have to let people in? Yeah. Oh. By, by hitting what? The first button with the camera and the plus sign. Okay, the first button with the camera and the plus sign. But I never go on my phone. I have no requests. Like <laughs> We're here to talk about something that we love. I'm on the internet. There we go. Or are we, am I just so, <laughs> we did a whole tech check to make sure this didn't happen, but it's probably the ghost. Oh my gosh. Not the first one. Hey. Hi, dude. Okay, no, just... We did a whole tech check to make sure this didn't happen. But what is it's probably that? The ghost. Oh my gosh. Not the first one. <laughs> hey. Do I click all these people? You don't even know. Where are they? You have to do this. It's too scary because there's like other people in here too that will jump on the chat. Okay. Hey Alex, what's up? Hi. Is, do we have a time frame? We're only allowed on the, on the internet for like 10 minutes. Okay. Like we're getting, we're wasting our 10 minutes of our air time. Oh my God. I'll stick so around with you guys well. I'm so glad to see you. Is it working? Um, I'm adding a filter. I am. Kristen, mute your... Oh, is that what it is? Oh, thanks. So is that gonna work? I can hear you. Yeah. I work. I can hear you. Hi. Hey. Okay. How what are you? I'm so good. <laughs> I'm I know you love stuff like this. I know we both love this kind of stuff. Well, it's not my typical format, so I don't know how to work it but I am excited to be here. I feel like it's uh, it's your territory. I love your Instagram. You're good at this shit. Oh, I feel excited. <laughs> this is great. So is it just us? Is it just us girls? Well, I mean, and who's actually here? Is it just me and you and- I think it is supposed to be me. I, I thought it was supposed to be you too, but right now it's just me. Oh, oh there's Roz! Dreams. She's here. The queen has Roz, arrived. You need to save us right now. Me and Kristen are like, oh! <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm sweating completely. Is this scarier than any ghost hunt you guys went on? Just I failing at the internet. Yes, scary. I'm nervous. As, I'm are so you nervous. too? I was I'm in my comfortable home right now. Mm -hmm. I, I, this, this is very comfortable for me. Being in those terrifying places in the middle of the night, not, not, no, scary. Um, okay, so what are you even talking about for people that don't know? How do we, how do we know each other? Why don't you tell me about meeting me? Okay. And why? So, we're on a TV show called Living <laughs> for the Dead. And this show is amazing. It's got everything. It has five lgbtqia plus paranormal professionals logan right there with the blonde hair is one of the best psychic mediums you have ever seen oh my god we just summoned juju <laughs> Ju the queen has arrived Your juju powers are working. spirituality Kristen you actually broke through the my show. dark cloud of technical inability. I can't believe it. That's seriously a, a powerful strength. because we don't have the bad bitch witch is here. The tech guru and knows all the tech stuff when it comes to ghost hunting and internets and equipments and everything. Okay, so you guys are on a show called Living for the Dead. And I feel, I feel like uh, I don't, for people that just have no idea what that even is, Tell me what happened, how you guys know each other, like, where did you go? What even is that? You're a ghost, I, mean, I know you all do, you're very talented in three very different departments, but uh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we, as the slogan says, we help the living by healing the dead. So we go to all these haunted places in the US and we see what's going on there. So a lot of times there may be and issues to a mansion in Arizona, to a hotel in Bisbee, Arizona, to, oh God, a sanatorium. We go and we see what the ghosts are up to, what they're doing, and how we can help them to calm down a little bit <laughs> and to 
coexist with the living. But like Ross says, we're five queer people doing it. So we do it in a way with a lot of heart, I think, um, with a lot of comedy. And I think we listen to the ghosts in a in a way that we don't really see a lot on TV. And so that's what I appreciate about all of us. We are oh, like, like I, I'll see people sometimes on the internet or whatever be like queer but why does it have to be queer people can't it just be hunters I've seen this. and let me tell let me answer that for you guys i mean first of all everything since we are queer that you know our life experiences our sense of taste our sense of humor we come from a queer perspective this is all done with a queer eye and uh <laughs> i also think like you know there there was a time when we dealt with ghosts that were homophobic on the show. That's something that happens to only queer ghost hunters. Um, so it is a different kind of show. It's got definitely a different kind of aesthetic. Um, and I think, yeah, the humor is very queer, but obviously everyone can enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, I feel like, you know, every uh, every space holds energy and tells the story, whether or not you believe in ghosts or whatever. And I would say that considering your guys' like particular life experience that entering sort of sketchy places that don't feel entirely comfortable is something that it, you're well versed in. And also doing it together, we are all <clears throat> stronger in numbers, obviously. It's sort of like in what in what I've always experienced to be a pretty bro environment, like let's go find the ghosts and like, oh, God, let's go find yeah. the ghosts. <laughs> So it's nice to sort of be like, wait, but like, you guys go so many different places and all of the experiences are so varied. And uh, I just, I think it really, I really think it took all five of you guys to, to I don't know, stick that landing because it's scary. I mean, like, where was the absolute scariest place you guys went? And I know that that's a three tiered question because there are three of you, but I'd like to know like each, because you guys went all over the fucking place. All over Sorry. the country. We went everywhere. And to me, it buries my scary because anytime I rewatch it, I'm like, oh, that scared me so bad. But I will say uh, the Copper Queen Hotel in Bisbee was, which is the second episode, was so scary. That's where we got some really cool paranormal evidence that really freaked me out. And I, I couldn't sleep. I know Roz was scared to death, Juju, and I just tried to keep it light and humorous, <laughs> but it was... Uh, Scary. scary. That's the thing I didn't know before I did one of these shows, uh, having been a fan of them for so many years, is like, okay, you're watching a show that's like an hour or less, give or take, and you, what you don't realize is that we are there the whole time, and so are the ghosts the whole time. So if we're eating meals, the ghosts are there. If we're sleeping in the places like the Copper Queen, there's ghosts <laughs> there. So yeah. we had so many experiences that weren't even on camera that when you watch an episode like that, we were just living in, we were in a, a hotel that nobody else was in but us and our crew, and we were getting terrorized by ghosts for days. Like, yeah. So by, the, by the end of it, I was I was so used to sleeping with screams blaring. I, I, it's really- Copper Queen was terrible. This was not aired, but I got scratched on my neck, and I think Roz actually came oh, to the room and saw all my scratches. But I did not mess with the Copper Queen at all. Like, I woke up and had three just scars from my neck all the way down to my chest. And what's so wild about what? it is that that's like, the same room that one of our producers, CJ, slept in and woke up with scratches. And I was like, oh, I'll be fine. Like, it's me. And woke up with scratches. Child. And I have so to I was tell like, you, okay. Like, like, <laughs> CJ's my best friend. And, like, maybe this kind of stuff happens to you guys. But that doesn't, I mean, I have, he has, he sent me a picture of that. And I was like, I'm glad I'm on some movie and I can't be there with you guys on this particular <laughs> trip because like some of the stuff I was jealous about and then like stuff like that I was like like when the coffee pods got like chucked down the staircase oh my god oh yeah uh, <laughs> that's a place where yeah, I saw something get thrown I just read this thing that said Juju you handled business Perfect. and so like I, well, I thought when I asked that question that you were going to be like I get scared but it's not, not really like that's not your main takeaway right like what for you I guess like what was the one that what was the experience that surprised you most or slash like moved you most? Like something that you felt like 
you actually got to like move some energy or you felt, I don't know, just good, something, something that wasn't scary because that's the thing is the show sometimes really hilarious, very scary sometimes, but then like there are moments where I was like, you guys are very good at talking to people. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't I'll, know. What was the thing that made you go like, I'm so glad I, I did this? I won't spoil it, but the ending of the whole that's series funny. was very I can fun. Yeah. Same. Yeah. And really is worth it. I think if people can stick it out to the end, it's like, but the perfect little bow on top and it's mm. the ending is moving and just the impact that we made because i joke all the time that i've been trying to get out of this business since i got into it but it's moments like that where you can interact with people who it genuinely helps you can see that this is genuinely changing their lives it it makes it worth it you know mm -hmm. it definitely feels that way. What, Ross? You're grinning like a possum. Now, now I'm just thinking about how much we, fun we had. We really did. I was just thinking about that too. And like, there's just so much that like we experienced that you know it's impossible to show everything. Mm. But like, there was I think there was a lot of change and stuff that even just couldn't be portrayed. Like, I was just thinking about episode. Oh shit, what's your, what, what was Mia's episode in the mansion? Three. Oh yeah, episode oh. three. Like there was a lot going on. <laughs> I love that episode. That's my. Favorite. I actually like that episode a lot too. And there was like a lot of healing that happened, even with the mom, with her mom and Mia, and like again stuff that wasn't shown. So it's like I really feel like there there was some personal relationships that we helped heal yeah. as well, mm -hmm. as well as the dead. And it just really shows how much the the dimensions are so interconnected. I know I'm getting woo woo, but it's true. Like I don't think I'm allowed to say this. It's because like I'm pretty sure that there were like things that aren't in that episode for a reason. But you're so good at reading people, like literally whether or not like so, like you're just being like that's not true. <laughs> it's so cool! To see. It's so cool to watch that in real time. That's oh, the thing. Man, I really wish we're detectives. You online. know, we come in there, we sniff it out. We're like, what's going on here? Where? Wh who's the ghost in this place? How can we help this? And I think that was definitely an episode where we were particularly, I mean, all of us, but like Ken and I were doing some deep detective work on that episode. And I really feel like we got down to the bottom of it by the end because some very extraordinary things happened um, at the end there. Tune in <laughs> to find out. <laughs> Ellipsis. Oh man. Okay, well, what if you got, like, if you guys got to go, what else do you want to do? Because we sh we need to do this again. Uh, like, where do you want to go next? Like, if you could go anywhere. I think Alcatraz Prison would be really cool. I've always... I know. Step up to the big boys. That's right. <laughs> I've always... Look at both of them. They're like, stop. I've always... <laughs> I've always wanted to go there. I, Not I like San Francisco. Let's just go to San Francisco. I'm down for that. I want to do some sexy stuff. Like, more strip clubs. Yeah. More bars, gay clubs, gay clubs, like old gay clubs, like places that people used to frequent and have fun and probably do illegal stuff. I feel like there's a lot of spirits there. <laughs> Hell yeah. I, mean, I love to me as long you. as I like nice ghosts. As long as the <laughs> ghosts are nice and fun, um, anywhere, let's do it. I feel like the least nice ghosts were at the strip club, no? Those guys sucked. They sucks. were pretty bad. For me, they sucked. Yeah. yeah. Probably. But I would say that was the most empowering moment of my life ever because I, I've always been very scared of aggressive spirits, but that changed my life forever because I realized, oh, I'm human, and that that thing is not. And if they're not acting right, listen, there's a lot of places that they could haunt. They get to be at a strip club in Las Vegas, so they better act correct or bounce. And I don't know, I felt really strong and powerful mm. from that. I just remember you always, anything, anytime we go down, Roz is always in the corner like, like so scared. <laughs> and, but Kristen, I have to say, Anytime we would do anything and you got to be a part of it, you were always so super scared of it too. So it's interesting to me that you, I don't know, created this show with CJ because is it something you were just curious about, like so freaked out by? But like, do, let me ask you, do, let me turn it around. Does it, uh -oh. is it different for you now? Do you view the paranormal different after this experience? Uh, uh no, because I, like, 
I, I, I wanted to just like find you guys, make you friends, so I could send you out there. <laughs> I am like just as I'm so curious about why I feel scared sometimes, or like all the time. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know. Like I think there's just so much. There, I, I I think it's impossible, and also like immersing themselves in haunted spaces. I was like that. It started off as a joke and it became something that I thought was like potentially um, important and like sweet. And I love that you love the nice ghosts because it's like that face is always just oogie boogie. And I'm like, wait a second, I'm genuinely scared of this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, can we please diffuse some of that energy kind of? And uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, um, but yeah, I'm terrified. I like walk around places that I have weird vibes from. And I go, like, I'm not the guy. Please don't <laughs> hear me. Like, beg them not to fuck with me because I can't handle it. But I. But what about that person behind can't. you? <laughs> What's up? What about the person behind you? Yeah, no, don't see because like. <laughs> see, like, that's our cue, Roz. You're doing too much. Yeah. Don't be scared. Chris I like. <laughs> Dude, that's the thing is, I think like uh, you, you know, it's like you, what you believe. You, belief is powerful. I'm like, I do believe, and in this moment, it's not happening. I can will it away, but I, yeah, well, whatever. Let's uh, back to you guys, stars of the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. So, like, like, uh, what about what about your y'all's relationships? Because, like, I love you together so much, and I only know you guys together, and you're like this little Scooby Doo. Crew, do you guys keep in touch? Are you friends? Is yes. it as real as it is? We do. Yes. We're we do. family, yeah. honey. They, y'all, you did work your magic because we, we love like family. We fight like family, <laughs> but we're family oh, yeah. through and through. Yeah, we really are. We all talk. We all keep in touch, and I feel like only us understand what we went through. Like, there's nobody else who gets this. Like, who gets what it means? Not just to ghost hunt, but to go to the specific places that we did, experience the spirits that we did, not be able to sleep like we did, be able to, like, that's a very unique experience. And so I think that we, regardless, like, are connected <laughs> for forever. So, and I also know that this isn't our last time working together and being, you know, with each other too. So we can't get rid of each other because I know we got more coming. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I, ta I talk to, I talk to, um, uh rogan and julie uh <laughs> like constantly they're two of my greatest friends you're so annoying <laughs> oh my. no we yeah. all love each other we're family um, cool well we have like other homies are we supposed to let them in now yeah yes, yes. ken and alex yay well good okay. seeing you all fun. bye everyone uh, Wait, is this over? No, no it's well, hard us. to leave. But Alex, right. you stay. Right. Let's bring them in. Time being. Yep. How do I leave? Hey, well, this was fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Chris, this is great. I am my, my mother. How do I get out of this? Yeah, okay. I don't know how to do any of this shit. Um, so then we're going to let in uh, Ken Boggle. Kentucky. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> well, this would stress. Yeah, this would stress me out actually if I did it's this all the time. Stressful. <laughs> it's a lot more stressful than hunting the dead. I'll tell you that. Ken Boggle. It's Kristen Stewart what's and that? Alex LeMay. Hi, baby. What's up? Hi. How are you, my love? I miss your face. <laughs> I miss all of you. Oh my gosh. I'm over here just, oh, if I could hug all of you once, I would. Oh. Dude, oh my God, so cute. Everyone, I can see the, the other guys like silently going like. <laughs> um, we love our babies. We love them. Hey, everybody watching. Hi, everybody at home. How was that? If you, how, how did, how did we do? Was that all right? It was amazing. Right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Top drawer, babe. Top drawer. <laughs> Maybe you're on the other side just agreeing with everything and <laughs> yeah. fluffing our ass, Scott, just trying to be cool. 
Yeah, speaking of, I need, I need to get a bowler. I want one. Right. You have to pick a different hat than a bowler, though. We'll get you a top hat. You'd be choice in the top hat. I think, think it would be a cute theme if you and I just, like, switched fashion sense every now and then. Okay, the yes. blonde wig. Okay, if you get a <laughs> bowler hat, I get a corset. And I look good at I get a corset. a beard. Like, I want a beard again. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> Dude, you do. Chris, what was your favorite look of all, like, of our of our looks? What did you love the most? Oh, I really like when you guys played each other. Honestly, that was like it's it's a seminal moment. I I really fought for it to be like, <laughs> and so everyone really knows you guys. And I was like, the payoff, it's amazing. <laughs> like the best, and so we're like, maybe we should be like put it first. And I was like, no, man, you need to know those guys. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, for sure, for okay. sure. Alex, which is the location you missed the most? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh, you know which one. <laughs> I miss Julia a little bit. Over at the Copper Queen? Yeah. 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 She was great. You two had a unique unique um, relationship <laughs> going. <laughs> yes, maybe. <laughs> I'm just close. Yeah. <laughs> Alex likes to mess around with ghosts, but like in a, in like, like actually mess around. Don't you have like a ghost thing, but like in a particularly romantic way? Um, I think Juju and I have both experienced that. Oh, right. That was like the first thing that made me go like this. These, this, these are my favorite people in, in the audition. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Juju just put it out there. I loved it. Instant friends. Yeah. <laughs> I think we even took a selfie together after that at the audition. I was like. <laughs> We're gonna be friends forever. I already know it. <laughs> yeah. So did you? Find, how are you guys? Do we need to go back there and see like what's up with this girl? I would love to. <laughs> I'd love a follow up episode there. <laughs> but um, I I'll probably go on my own to just go rent out Julia's room and hang out. And yeah. What about you? You can. Um, my favorite location was every location except the clown motel. <laughs> um. The less time I spend with clowns, the better. But I will say there's something about exposure therapy and having stayed a week in a clown hotel surrounded by 2,000 clowns did me well. Like, I can I can cope a little bit better. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> did that come from the um, the clown hotel? No, it's my personal collection. Oh, word. Right. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> the coolest thing about Alex was that, like, she fools me with this like Stevie Nicks ethereal like fairy princess vibe. Like if there's something a dead body's been in, she's the first one's like, Can I climb in that? Has there been a dead body there? Can I be in that? Like, like, is that blood? Let me climb in. That's the thing about Alex that I really appreciate. Thanks. It's just it's like incredible. Well, because creepiness. you have like you're like a quintessential, like you are like a ghost hunter, right? That's like something that you've done for a long yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. I think Ken has too, outside of just being the most, I mean, the best tarot reader. Yeah, we both have quite a few years in the paranormal sphere. Yeah. yeah. I, th I think I'm at 15 years as a paranormal investigator, 32 as a tarot card reader and psychic medium. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I think my whole life I've been investigating ghosts. I think of like being six and having sleepovers with my friends and us setting up like the Ouija board and candles and talking to the house ghosts. Like that was normal. <laughs> very I'm weird honestly a ouija board comes around me and i'm just like what who is get no <laughs> oh, yeah it's poor. scary people get freaked out by it there's a lot of scary movies also that have come out about it and people getting attacked but in reality you know we are the kings and queens of our domain like we can really just say go away and a spirit will listen to you like the power in your words is so yeah there's nothing to be afraid afraid of you know do you guys like for because i've seen the show obviously i <laughs> like we like put it together i've seen like all the weird messy in between moments and stuff is there any moment that you um like remember from all of your experiences where you were like get the fuck out of here and you really felt like listened to like when you guys really like came in and just went like absolutely not and like took mm -hmm. power back I think we did that in all, in like all of the locations to some degree. I think we did that what in all the, the locations. I think I'd say the Palomino when we were like, "Hey, <laughs> yeah, 
You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When when Roz and Juju and Alex had to, they were like, we like TNA, and they're like, oh TNA. Then they called Roz fat and said her dress is magenta, and they were like, not having yes. it. Like you know, when they... Roz busted out the Hollywood and was like, don't make me like <laughs> this. Remember that? Yeah. Just yeah. Be <laughs> That yeah. was good. Um, well, mine was probably at the morgue. I had one cameraman with me and I think Caitlin. And there was that really scary moment I was by myself having that conversation with the malevolent entity that was just letting me know that he's supposedly very scary. That's the only time I got real freaked out um, because he asked me to leave multiple times. And in doing so, he made all the equipment light up and make noise and so like the jarring sound plus it being pitch black and me in the body shoot just like by myself that time i had to crawl out of the body shoot and then walk down the hallway and try to be as composed as possible and just saying with caitlin i was like you and i need to say this out loud like we have to say you're not allowed to follow us you're not allowed to come home with us um we just had to put those boundaries in place as we were leaving because that was actually pretty terrifying that was the source of on waverly hills that was the source of having like a hundred some attachments just one year alone yeah so yeah that was creepy sometimes i like lay around in the dark like in even like new spaces and just be like don't think about that don't think about that because then it's like it'll happen you know like you'll look up and be like oh hi i knew it Shit. <laughs> yeah oh my god yeah, never. i think of that every time because you I don't go, see you know, it yeah I don't... you don't see it until it comes into focus so if you're not thinking about it you can't focus on it you know <laughs> just pretend it's not there i, I remember we were at a really rent, like ritzy high class restaurant and when i was a little bit younger and um, I went to the bathroom. When I came out of the bathroom, I had this cold chill just like go through me. And I was just trying to get to my dessert. Like all I really wanted at that moment was my tiramisu. And like, I was just trying to get to the food. And I and I said to the waiter, I was like, is there something here? Or like, is there something haunting us? He's like, oh yeah, especially around the bathroom. I'm like, can I get that to go? Like, can I get that to go? Cause like, I need to be, I need out. I, like, I need to leave. <laughs> like, I'm not having this right now. It's Have you ever dated a ghost? Have you, huh? you ever dated a ghost? No, I've never dated a well, I've been ghosted, but I've never dated a ghost. Sure. Um, yeah, there was one guy that I thought we were in a relationship and we weren't, if that counts. Uh, but he was married, so there you have it. No, I can't, yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> what about you, Kristen? Did anything happen while we were filming? Uh, no, I was just, I was like, no, I was really, um, wait, hold on, let me about this let's see let's see let's see me and cj went upstairs and um tried so hard to be you guys i think i kind of like i was pushing them all away. although i will say at the end we started talking about my bangs my whole body got like freezing i don't know man i mean like i said i kind of i must live through you guys that's why we're do that's why we've done this i just somebody just went who is i mean um what is this show that they're talking about and i think that's why we're here to tell me yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's living, living for the for dead, the dead. Yeah. yeah what do you guys, so you guys live for the dead in many ways yeah it's how i tell we <laughs> it's how i make my living actually is is <laughs> like paranormal investigating and doing mediumship readings and working with spirit like i'm living for the dead in a lot of ways, like filming the TV show has been, is just been like great for me because it kind of shows people what life is really like for us, that it's not all rainbows and butterflies. Sometimes it's like dirt, dirty, dusty, like forgotten, abandoned sanatoriums and stuff. And so, yeah, like it's, it's great for the show to have encapsulated or to kind of illustrate sort of what's, what our lives are really like and what a paranormal investigation it is. It's kind of so, cool. It's so trippy when suddenly without much of a segue i you suddenly find yourself in a really meaningful and sometimes very disarming conversation with someone on the show where you just go like i mean that clearly came out of nowhere you could never you could just never plan something like that and like watching everyone kind of hop to to support those moments where you are doing what you're gifted with is like those are some of my favorite moments of the show like honestly I, like there's 
so sweet about it. It's so hard to just suddenly get like weird and intimate with people. And like, I love watching you do that. I, yeah, we had, we had dreams of the show being like silly and stupid and funny and sort of explorative. But then we were like, but we could really like, we could make people just cr like cry a lot too. <laughs> and I feel like- I definitely cried. <laughs> oh. Yeah. The yeah. amount of like crying <laughs> on the show. I mean, I, I, I certainly didn't cry. That not that didn't at all happen. Yeah, uh, not at all. Not on international TV, it did not at all. But I think it kind of <laughs> to, I think it speaks to the truth of like how amazing casting was because I think we all felt very comfortable with each other, and and there was so much that happened on camera, but there was like real love that happened off camera too. Like there were times that we all kind of had some moment that we were trying to overcome and there was always a shoulder and inside of this bubble, this this living for the dead bubble. And um, I miss it daily. I miss it daily. Oh no, well, we should fix that. I agree. I feel like a season yes. two should happen. I agree. I feel like that should happen. <laughs> so what do you guys do tonight? You're gonna hang out with ghosts, you do that all the time. Like what's the deal? Are you gonna go do a, any, are you guys working today? Well, I've already worked, and I have a date with a really hot cop in just a few minutes. So I got a <laughs> hot. Get... Yeah, he's twenty four. Can you imagine? He's, not a Stop. he's actually a, a real police of a hot police officer. Yeah, yeah, and you're a... yeah, yeah. Police. yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm gonna wear this though. I'm gonna wear this. I feel like this is a look. I got, I got the vibe. I think. Yeah, it's very Ken. You look very really hot <laughs> for sure. Sometimes. <laughs> And we definitely zoomed where you were like chilling. No, hat, glasses, full. What are you wearing? Uh, a little ascot, a lovely satin button up, and an Asian inspired uh, black flocked blue suede vest, uh, sports coat. Love it. With I'm a gonna borrow it. Case of the fan. <laughs> With a little case of the fan in case I get, you know, warm. <laughs> Which is always. Oh, I miss you all so much. I can't wait to do this again. Yeah, me too. Me too. Um, okay, well, um, I think we've been on the internet well. I was scared. I was like, I really, I hope, I, I really want people to watch this show. I, I love it so much and I love you guys and I, it's such a fun trip to take. I'm gonna like rewatch it and then make another season of it. <laughs> Thank you. So if anyone hasn't watched it, take it from me. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and I'm like, I'm so, I love you guys. And I'm so happy to know you. And thank you for doing this. And it's vulnerable. And I like, you know, internet work is difficult. And it's sometimes scarier than ghost work. So <laughs> totally. for anything for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're um, totally to our angels. You know, yeah. like, we love you too. And thank you for giving us this opportunity and to show people what it's like to be queer and to give us a chance to participate in the conversation of life after death because it's about time yeah that happened before. we we appreciate it tremendously i feel like i would tell you guys anything you know what i mean that's it, that's it's an ability you come into rooms and people just go like where they just step <laughs> it's kind of fault, ken that like people meet you and just go like oh my god i need to tell you um yeah and and it's come to the point where I've actually started investing in the company of Kleenex because like, it's just like constantly there's like, it's like pull one out of my sleeve. Like there's always a tissue flying. <laughs> and um, I love that. I feel like we're our brother and sister's keeper. And so it's important to be the shoulder or when somebody needs to unload, it's important to give them that shoulder and to love them. Mm -hmm. No matter if you know them or not, love them anyway, Agreed. you know, no matter if different walks of life, but we're all on the same path. Totally. You know? Yeah, my goal in life is always to feel like a safe person for other people. You guys are- And you achieve it. Addy. Yeah. Aww. yeah. Aww. Hot. Okay, I think we should be done. Let's be done. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> love you all, thanks for watching. Love you. All right, love Netflix. you. Watch the Watch thing. thing. Thank you for letting us do it. Bye. See you. No Bye. Bye. <laughs> knows how to turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna do it. He did it. Oh, it was horrible. It wasn't.